a heavyweight showdown between Francis Ngannou and John Jones. The longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple, here is the Albuquerque, New Mexico based former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. Essentially an undefeated fighter, the only loss in his career by DQ to Matt Hamill back in the day. He has taken all comers, he has chewed them up, he has spit them out. The consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones, although he started out as a wrestler, has grown to become one of the very best strikers and submission artists in the UFC. Incredibly successful against high-level competition and at a very young age. In fact, the youngest ever light heavyweight champion in the history of the sport. So we get another look tonight at the heavyweight contender, the Predator Francis Ngannou. He got a dose of humble pie from Stipe Miocic in his first UFC heavyweight championship fight, but prevailing wisdom is that eventually Ngannou is gonna be able to get back into that type of situation and fare better. He has worked very hard on the cardio at the UFC's Performance Institute, and he believes we will see that improved work beginning in this contender's matchup tonight. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. And now for the opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night turn. Oh, nice strike landed there by Ngana. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. The right hand just misses. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Good combination so far from both. Yeah. He's trying to hang on. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh. 
Try to establish that jab. He hurt him with that hook. How about that shin? Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Boom, tagged him again. Nice jab. Just misses with a left hook there. Good punch. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Effective punch there by Jones. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice punch from the clinch by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Jones has got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, oh big knee. Knee. He's in big, big, big trouble. And now starting to snap off that jab. Huge uppercut misses. Good punch. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Head kick there blocked by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, clipped him with the jab. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Hook to the head lands flush there by Francis Ngannou. Five minutes in the books. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany Palmer with us. John Jones is an incredibly gifted and talented fighter. He has a wrestling base, but primarily uses that wrestling base to keep fighters standing, where they have to deal with his long, long kicks and punches, and also his outstanding ability to improvise. He's very creative with his striking and very unpredictable with his attack. Let me show you the total strikes. Oh! with that straight right attempt. Very accurate jab by John Jones. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice. And he's looking for that left. Jones gets the tie clinch here. That knee might have landed there. He transitions to the tie clinch. Lands a foot stomp there, Joe. You saw a lot of those back in the day. Nice job by Jones. Oh, clean hook there. And again, Joe, he's showing a vulnerability to that jab, leaning right into his opponent's striking range. Yeah, looks oh, a little he got on his feet. He is in trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Hard hook. Oh! Jones's lower jaw is 
just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Left punch is true. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. How about that shin? Oh, clipped him again. He's hurt, he's hurt. This could be it right here. to improve position here. Oh, lands that punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lands a punch. Inside control once again. All right, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Ariane Celeste is with us. Misses with it there. Oh! Whoa! He's hurt here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Vicious combo there. Oh, big left. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 He's badly, badly hurt. to go in round three. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. The Predator gets back up again. Nicely done. Gigantic kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Here we see that again. Great angle here. Boom! Right on the money. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year.